Hi, Karen. Welcome to uh, to Rotterdam. I want to start by looking back to to last year and it being such a such a great year for you. Obviously, a, a big breakthrough year with some some big titles. When you're in the off season, looking to this year, did you set yourself any specific goals, a certain amount of uh, tournament wins or match wins, even? Of course, you want always more, but sometimes it's tough to predict. You know, you never know when when you're going to win. You can do everything possible to win. And that's maybe my my way of thinking. You know, I'm just trying to prepare for every week to be able to play 100% at my best level. And then, um, if if it doesn't work, then I try. I need to go back to work. I need to push myself to get back to this level. And uh, in general, when you are not playing even so well, still you need to try to win matches. And um, yeah, in general, I'm thinking big. I'm, I want always more. I want to be a better player, better person every day, and that's what I'm looking forward for this year. And of course, obviously, it's still very early in your career, but how would you say you've developed or matured over the past two years? It's a little bit of everything. I mean, uh, not even a little bit. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I improved in physical part, uh, in tennis part, of course, in mental part. You know, tennis is about... Uh, uh, a lot of small situations and small details, you know, especially at the level where we are playing right now. Um, it's um, sometimes it's just a few points difference, you know, and you need to really think what is what is the difference, what is important, you know, if it's a mental part or if it's a tennis part. So uh, it's really tough to say, but I think uh, overall I'm happy with my improvement, you know, and um, I'm really thinking and hoping to get better and better. Of course, all three of your titles last year came indoors. So when you come to a tournament like this, uh, a big a big indoor tournament, does that fill you with confidence that you can you're going to be one of the guys to beat here? Again, yes, I would say yes. Um, the statistics shows that I play well in indoors, and I'm really feeling comfortable to play in indoors. And um, but then at the end you need to look at the draw, you need to look at your opponent, and you need to prepare for every opponent differently. You know, so. Sometimes, uh, of course, if I come to the tournament, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm, I want to win and I'm thinking of winning, but uh, then, you know, you need to just uh, take one match at a time and then prepare for every, every match and try to do your best. And this is another, another week like many others, whereby all uh, three of the, the big young Russian talents are, are here competing. Uh, is, does that kind of camaraderie help on tour, but also uh, does that help you kind of push each other competitively to be to be the best Russian? <laughs> I mean, I've been I've been talking a lot about it. You know, we are friends outside the court, really good friends with Daniel and with Andre. And of course, if we play against each other, we are opponents, and we will push to our limits to to beat each other. But at the end of the day, we are competing against all other players. You know, and personally. We can push each other in a good way, you know, if he's playing good or Daniil or Andre is playing good and I'm playing good, to beat each other in the higher stages. But I don't have, for example, personal rivalry against against them, you know. I, I have, I, I'm, I'm thinking and approaching to them as any other opponents, you know, like from any other countries. So basically, you know, it doesn't matter if they are from Russia or not. And of course, this is always a tournament that attracts a lot of big players. Why, why do you think that is? Why do you think there can always be such a strong field here in Rotterdam? It's a big tournament. It's a 500 event um, in indoor. So a lot of guys who decide to stay in Europe, they prefer to play this European swing. And it fits well in the schedule. And um, I think it's really well organized tournament, one of the best indoors facilities and indoors tournaments. So I had a warm welcome and really I'm Happy to be here this week. And of course, all 500 level events are notoriously difficult to win because of a small draw packed with top players. Mm -hmm. But do you think because of where this tournament sits in the calendar uh, and other, other conditions makes it arguably the toughest one to win? It's a little bit of everything. Like you said, you know, it's a 32 draw, no buys, you know, every seed it's plays against you have really strong field you know you play you can play first round with a guy who is top top 20 or top 30 you know and um, again it's a little bit of everything I think um, the, the conditions uh, the the player field um, this part of the season you know just after Australia you have a short break you prepare and a lot of players they prefer to play so 
you know, all comes together that becomes a tough tournament to win. And we want to get the, the, the players' uh, feelings and thoughts on, on what it's like to be injured and what it's like to be uh, away from the tour. When you've suffered injuries in the past, is it, what would you say is the toughest thing about not being able to compete? This is the toughest thing, not being able to compete. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember myself when I was injured in 2015, I think at the beginning of the year, I had a great off season, you know, I was working hard like almost seven weeks, you know. And then at the beginning of the year, I had, I twisted ankle and then I broke a uh, muscle. So I had a tear. And um, honestly, the toughest thing that sometimes you don't really appreciate um, our sport, you know, when you have, for example, you have a bad match or you lose, you're really disappointed, you say some, you know, that you don't want to play or something. But uh, when you really cannot play, that's when you realize, you know, when you are away from, from the tour because of injury. So at this time, you really appreciate that you, you can play and you can compete. Well, hopefully it won't be a factor this week. Best of luck this week. Yeah, thank you.